I think we're good. So next project, this one is super simple, super duper duper simple, but so cute, like packs a lot of punch, I think, with the fun little cello bags. Can you see the little, I imagine those to be like snowflakes on our cello bags. So let me show you. You get a package of these cello bags. You actually, I was shocked. There are 25 of them in here. Can you, you probably can't even see that, but it, they're like thin. I didn't realize that we had 25 of them in a pack. So they come, they're really tall. Um, so I cut it down. So that's my first step. Oops, scoot that out of the way, right? So here is my cello bag. So I did fold it over too, but I just literally with my scissors, um, kind of cut off the top. Let's see if we can figure out. I cut off, it was about three and a quarter inches is what I cut off along the top. So I'm actually just gonna kind of use that because I really liked that length. And it doesn't have to be precise, right? So I don't know, maybe you can find something fun to do with those little things too, right? <laughs> okay, so then this is just gonna fold over about like that, right? <laughs> the punches are on your wish list, yes. Yes, I hear you. So I just put in um, some little chocolates. These were kind of fun. I had to try maybe a couple, ladies. So I just found these at Walgreens. They're like a little, it says crunchy chocolate peanuts. And all I saw was like chocolate covered peanuts, but then there's like this little um, crunchy element to them too. So we'll just, let's just put a couple of these in here right now because it kind of helps fill out our bag, all right? And after we're done with Facebook Live, I might have to have a couple more of these, but we'll just sprinkle a few of those in there for now, right? And that's what's kind of fun is then it um, kind of helps your bag sit up where it wasn't sitting up at all before, right? So we're gonna not touch those much though because it's getting a little bit warm in here and we are gonna make our little treat topper, right? So let's see. Um, yeah, you could make another bag, you're right, Sally. That's a good idea. Yeah, so these, this kind of takes me back in time. Like when I first started paper crafting, all I wanted to do was make cute treats for my kids to take to school, like for Halloween and Christmas and Easter and basically any holiday I could think of. So this was my go-to project was like our little cello bags and then with a little treat topper on them. So I'm kind of like going back in time. My kids would basically never take these treats to school um, any longer. Although it's funny, now Cade's a senior. Maybe he would. Maybe like one last time. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyway, but okay, so let me show you because this is just so fun and simple and easy to make. So we have, this is some more of the, is it plaid tidings designer series paper? I think it is. So you can see this is a fun like fall. That, that print would look really pretty on there too, wouldn't it? right, if you wanted to do more of a fall theme with your chocolate, right? We are gonna keep it back over here for our Christmas theme. So I have two of these, I don't know why, on six, we only need one, right? And then let's see, we grab ink and so on. Okay, so let's do our die cutting. Let me show you again, we are using our celebration, right? Isn't that what they're called? Celebration label dies. Okay, I have the names of a few things, but not all of them. All right, let's make sure we're using the right sizes. So we have, yep, that one is right there. So this is the third largest die, goes on the red plaid, and then the second smallest, I guess, right, um, goes on our white piece, okay? So let's cut those, and then I'll, we're gonna do our stamping afterwards, because I tried to do my stamping first, and then line this up, and I didn't like it. It didn't work out as well. So we're gonna, Usually I do stamp and then die cut, but today, not so much. Okay, all right, so here we go. Yeah, Sally, he may surprise me. You're right. That's why as I, I paused, because I was like, mm. you know, honestly, he would probably do it before Lily would. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what that says about either one of them, but that's kind of just how they are, so. And yay, you got the paper yesterday. That's awesome, Susan. Okay, so, man, my, my plates are already really well loved. Can you see? <laughs> I've been having lots of fun. Can you see all of the labels, too? That's the mainly what I've used these plates for, is cutting out all these new celebration label dies, right? Okay, so we got that one, and then, and you need full on both of these, right? So this one, honestly, I would maybe, maybe use a different designer series paper, because you're only going to get one of these dies out of each 
um, six by six. Although you can still do that, right? Because then you, you've got so many different designer series papers um, to choose from. 48 different sheets in there, right? So you could get 48 toppers and then you'd have a bunch of pieces left over too to make other fun projects with. So yeah, okay. I think, where is my project? It's like hiding away. Yeah, I think we're done with our die cutting. Okay, I was just trying to make sure. So let's just get this out of the way. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping right on here. So this I did use, what is? So the Celebration Tiding Stamp Set. Oh, and what's Sharon saying? And I found out you can use the die, ooh, for a box lid too. Very cool. All right, you'll have to tell us more about that sometime, Sharon. That sounds fun. So we used our Merry Christmas, and then I love this little guy right here, too, just to add a little bit of detail to our sentiment here. Okay, so I've got my real red ink. We're going to stamp. And this, there's something about it so sweet, this Merry Christmas, the font of it. Okay, tap, 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 right, ladies? Stamp our Merry Christmas. Don't you love that? I love that font on there. Okay. So we got that one, and then we have the shaded spruce. Did I get, ooh, I didn't get green on my finger. I really thought I was going to. I just want a little teeny tiny bit of that kind of popping up along the bottom there. Again, just to add a little bit of detail. Now these, you actually just fold in half, which I rarely do. I'm more about like the scoring, but as long as you line up the little notch, you are gonna be just fine. Ooh, <laughs> that's cute, Sharon. We may see that at the next group meeting. Ooh, that's like a tease. <laughs> I love it. So ladies, if you want to see Sharon showing us how to use these labels to turn them into a box lid, you have to buy the starter kit and join our Inkspired Stampers group and then she will be on our Facebook Live showing us how to do that, right? Okay, so all I did again was just line this up and then um, fold it in half. So super simple. That is just gonna layer right on top of there, right? So we are, actually though, don't, hold on. This was my little trick so that you couldn't see my staple. Okay, so we're gonna do that and fold that over. We're gonna put this topper on first. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab, everything looks the same. Where's my staple? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I kept looking at the punches and like, okay, no, it's not a punch. So there, so we're gonna cover up our staple now with this other die so you don't even see it. I love that little trick. It's so tricky, isn't it, ladies? And I am gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus because I want to make sure this sticks on there really well because of that, um, what's that called? That staple that's on there, okay? So we're gonna do those right there, right? Next, we need to add just a little bit of bling to it. <laughs> Sharon, or Susie, I want to see. Yes, Susie, so buy that starter kit and you can see. Actually, Sharon really needs someone to buy the starter kit through her so she can promote to uh, Silver. So Susie, talk to Sharon about getting the starter kit <laughs> and then she'll show you how to make the. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being really silly right now. Okay. All right. So we are going to, what was this ladies? Here I am. This is the new. So this was actually um, something that I got from creative convention. So we used a little bit of it. We got this in a cute little tin that I should have showed you. I'm going to have to show you next week. Um, Oh, look at Susie. I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> anyway, so this is fun. And you actually, I think, get 10 yards of it. But I probably got a couple yards as like a little um, goodie bag kind of thing. But the braided linen trim in real red. Very pretty, huh? Okay, so we just made our bow and silliness here, right? We're going to add a little glue dot. We're going to pop that right on there. And then last step, I just needed a little bit of bling. So I had to go to... My holiday rhinestones, you know, and all these fun, pretty colors, right? And I thought I want to do, I wanted to use the orange. I just needed um, a little something fun and bright on there. So I put a couple of orange um, holiday rhinestones, and I've got more. Let's see, what do we got here? 
<laughs> yes, yes, you, yes, you know. We all have our love of Stampin' Up! products. That is for sure, Miss Susie. <laughs> all right, so, all right, what do you guys think? Kind of a, just, that's super simple, right? You can, again, for any holiday, whatever you need these for, just make a little treat topper that kind of coordinates with your theme. Add a little whatever you want inside, and you've got a great little um, treat holder idea there. Okay, so ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll just put that right there. The quick recap I always like to do at the end of our videos to remind you to put your online order in, right? Use this host code, the R4P4KGGM. You will get these make and take projects that I demonstrated today with at least a $30 order. Your name also goes in the drawing to win the dainty diamonds embossing folder bump your order up to fifty dollars and you get the pdf tutorial or the in color enamel dots are free with your fifty dollar order so let me know if you guys have any questions on any of these projects i hope that you enjoyed them i know i had so much fun showing them to you so you guys have a great weekend and we will see you next friday bye everybody thank you